Hello there, welcome back to Spain. Last time, well, I talked way too much about trade and ended up scuttling away the whole episode about that. I do apologize for getting an extra today. And I hope that you'll accept that as an apology. But as things are standing now, I might actually have to try and consider actually getting into wars with Milan, with Austria, basically everyone who has a core that can be released into, uh, into a nation. And fortunately, it doesn't actually seem like the Austrians do have any. So, uh, they have Württemberg, so we might actually have to consider that, and of course we'll also definitely consider going after Saxony, for example, and force them to, uh, force them to, um, to change their religion, as it were. So, uh, as you might imagine, there's a lot of things that could be done, but, uh, not really sure how I'll do it. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to see how it turns out, but for now, once again, not really that much I, I can do. I'm a little bit unsure what actually grants, um, I could of course take the reef, so I think that'll actually help a little bit, but right now it doesn't even matter. What I will have to do is try and keep the, uh, get the Imperial Authority high. I can potentially do this simply by getting the, uh, simply by getting myself in, uh, into wars or having my ruler die, but he's young, so that's probably not going to be the case, so we'll take a chance here, put him as a general and have him command a, uh, a unit. We'll probably also get into wars, as you might imagine. No idea if I can actually, as I said, release anything here. Apparently not. I didn't actually own any land in the Roman Empire either, so I can't actually... Uh... I could, of course, try and vassalize and release it annex, but uh, that won't really help too, because of the fact that if I do that, sooner or later I'm going to run into trouble with uh, having too much annexed or something like that. But on that same note, if I do this... Let's see here. Be my country create a vassal here. Create... Sicily, for example, Aragon. They will actually become members of the Holy Roman Empire. So I'm wondering if it'll actually give them... Uh, if they'll actually give... Uh, give some... Uh, give some Imperial Authority. I think it... I think it might... Well, I might it might do. So... Uh, I guess we'll take a chance here. We'll try and release Guyenne. Worst case scenario, I'll have to annex them in 10 years' time. But yeah, I can actually use this as a trick, gain 20 Imperial Authority, and I can do the same with Aragorn, for example. But I can't get uh, Malorca, for example, into it. But uh, yeah, that's definitely an interesting thing, or an interesting way of doing it. It's kind of gamey, but at this point, that's basically what I will have to do. So I might actually end up releasing Sicily and Aragorn as well. Probably not fight too many wars, annex vassals uh, all over the board and such. Probably a war against uh, the Portuguese, but nothing really much more than that. So. Uh, with that in mind, we'll see how things go. I can't actually do too much annexations, I believe. Relations, I can boost these. I can. I go ahead and boost my relations with all of my uh, all my vassals, uh, vassal electors, as high as possible, and we'll see how that turns out. But for now, we'll probably also, as I said, fight a little bit more in uh, in India and uh, Asia in general. But we'll probably stay quite quiet in Europe. So uh, we currently have a plan. We'll see how it works out. The Cherokees has been uh, integrated. And that makes uh, the borders look a little bit prettier, but still it's annoying in uh, in one aspect. Since I now will have to convert the lands, but since it's only four months, it shouldn't actually take that long. So uh, we'll uh, we'll get straight to that. Iroquois will be annexed uh, rather shortly as well. So uh, no real fuss on either of those. And with that, we basically have North America more or less completely under our control. I'll have to deal with Britain sooner or later, but uh, no real reason to do it now. Iroquois has been, uh, well, integrated, as you might imagine, and that is good for us. There's one negative thing with how things are currently standing with the uh, release vassal setup I'll most likely be using, and that is that the electors will, of course, also get negative relations due to the fact that I am annexing vassals. As you can see, a minus 60 simply from those two, and as such, I'll get quite a lot. So I'll probably just alternate between Guyane and Aragon, because I'm pretty sure those two are the biggest countries that I can release, and as such, I'll also get... Uh, I'll also get quite a lot of bonuses simply from, uh, well, annexing and releasing those old sad nations, which should be beneficial. Apparently my armies can't actually handle that, which is kind of weird, but uh, we'll, we'll sort it out, I think. Although it probably would have been wiser not to, I decided to release Aragorn as well while I'm at it. I'll simply do the uh, make friends and then annex uh, deal with them too. So uh, that should just work out to my advantage, and other than that, should actually be a first. Both of them will be annexed in about a decade, and well, this is basically the easiest way for me to boost the uh, 
And also, as you can see, people will believe in the coalition thanks to uh, thanks to this. So, all in all, it's beneficial to me. The only problem is that they're actually uh, let's see here. I guess I'll take the peasants. The only real problem by doing this is simply the fact that my uh, my units will be or my armies. And as you can see, I'm actually making less money, and that is kind of troublesome. Over force limits and all that kind of has its uh, negatives, but uh, I'll basically just have to try and do this to uh, to generate the uh, imperial authority needed to actually well force these get things through as you can see people are starting to like the idea so I'll simply have to get uh, friendly with the electors and that should be a lot <laughs> that should hopefully be enough to actually uh, be able to form this so see let's see who am I missing Aachen Bavaria Austria uh, I think Aachen is actually the easiest here to uh, convince as it were since I simply need to improve relations with them. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably hope we'll get a bigger land freedom pretty soon. Advancement in the religious ideas. We have ecumenism, which gives tolerance to heretics plus two. But more important, we now have completed the religious idea set. And that gives better relations over time plus 100%. Should definitely help out a little bit. Especially with, uh, well, people that hate me. I aren't really that many of them in the whole Roman Empire. But it'll definitely... Uh, It'll definitely help with the next vassal malices and also uh, also some other problems. So hopefully that will work out to my advantage. Other than that, not really much to say. As you might imagine, the collision is actually uh, shrinking rather rapidly. Although there's still many people in it. Afghanistan left of all things. Persia is still in it. Night is still in it. But uh, it seems like most people will leave soon. The same with the Russians. They don't actually have any aggressive expansion against me any longer. So I simply have to wait. But uh, yeah, it's also quite tempting to get basically take Vinagyo and Madurai and get them done with uh, once and for all, so I can actually annex Bamanis. But uh, we'll have to be patient and see what happens. Military attack 23 has been reached. Light cavalry gives military tactics plus 0.5. Maneuver value of my units have increased by 50%, much faster. My cavalry shocked by a whole point, and I now have Grenzer Caroline and Light Infantry along with some new cannons, the Cohorn Mortar. So uh, that's quite beneficial. I think we'll just simply go for line because they are fairly balanced. Gallop, we didn't get an upgrade to cavalry, my bad. And cohort mortars. So, as things are currently standing, I should probably have waited by doing this, but my bad once again. Hopefully, we won't get into rebel. No, we didn't get any rebel issues, so that's fine. Austria apparently do not like me anymore, so the alliance will definitely, uh, most likely, break. Burgundy is definitely something that I c or someone that I can consider becoming friends with then. But uh, we'll have to. We'll definitely have to see. So for now, I think we'll just go ahead and uh, not do much. We'll try to get Gien and Aragorn integrated pretty quickly, and hopefully that'll be enough to. Uh, hopefully, if I have even have to release someone else, it should be enough to to make things work. There are seven princes for the reform. Two of them are my vassals. So what I could potentially do here is simply continue on that score, basically try and vassalize the entire empire before I pull the uh, the idea. But that wouldn't really help either, so uh, not really that, that much else to do. And as you can see, we are almost done with all the conversions as well. So for the time being, not really that much else we will do. Um, we'll just wait and see if we can get the Abigail Landfrieder. We'll probably fight a little bit in uh, in India potentially. Still a little bit of a coalition going on, so uh, we'll have to wait a little bit uh, longer. But war is definitely brewing. Administrative Tech 19 has been reached. Glorious Monument. It allows me to build, well... A glorious monument, so not really that interesting. It is a unique building though, and gives a boost to yearly prestige, so we'll build that. We'll also build the Admiralty. It's also useful, does give uh, some pretty nice bonuses. And as of now, not really that much uh, to do really. We're waiting for the time to come when we can start or re annex these guys. It's uh, four years away. And once we've done that, we'll probably have to release them once again to get the next level and. It's kind of annoying, but it seems like that is basically the uh, the only choice we have in this matter. But it shouldn't be a problem even, so it uh, should be easily dealt with. What we will most likely do is fight a war against Mali, and also a war against Portugal uh, pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we can also go ahead and declare a war on Mali as soon as we get a diplomat ready. Uh, they did leave the coalition, so it's basically time for it. Cutting down Portugal to be able to vassalize them, and then feed them Morocco and Algiers. It's definitely uh, definitely part of the uh, the plan here. 
that also the fact by doing that I believe I will be able to uh, I believe I will be able to add this these provinces to the empire I have no idea if I actually will be able to but if I can that means I can basically add the entirety of uh, of Africa which would be beneficial but uh, we'll have to wait and see not really that much to do kind of uh, regretting right now that I didn't actually go for unions with Hungary or anyone over here because that will definitely have been uh, helpful right now in terms of getting my uh, my power up but uh, we'll have to see these guys are actually next Versburg they're allied with uh, Poland and Burgundy though so I'll probably not actually uh, make any moves on that Bohemia is kind of a different story. They're allied with Great Britain and Lithuania, and I can release this uh, this country here. So it's definitely kind of tempting to release them, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. What's well, been declared on uh, on Mali here? It'll be probably just aiming at taking these two, potentially this one as well. But uh, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of land that needs to be conquered still, so it doesn't even matter if uh, if it takes forever. It simply has to be done, and basically it doesn't have to be done, but it's uh, it's useful for me, so I will be uh, I will be going on a, uh, a well conquering spree, I guess you should call it. But uh, I'll get myself the uh, <clears throat> the king in charge of that army, and then we'll see if he uh, if he feels like dying in this war or not. But I'd guess not, so we'll see how it goes. As one might imagine, we actually don't end up taking much. Just two provinces here. That's why I can feed him straight to my vassal. Without any fuss, it'll give me a little bit of aggressive expansion, but mostly in uh, well this area here. So it doesn't really matter. And with that, we are well done with once again another war, a, uh, a fairly short one. Just going to sell my provinces or the provinces straight away to Ashanti, and uh, once that's done, I guess we'll uh, fabricate the claims that we need on uh, on Portugal, and then we'll basically just get uh, get ourselves started there. So it will be interesting how that turns out, but uh, it should be uh, it should be fine. So uh, let's just get started, I guess. As you can see, the genius uh, sort of Austria have decided that <clears throat> that they do need my help, and an offensive war. This is a war that they've started, so I'll decline. They do hate my guts, and they hate it even more now. But since they're also, they won't actually vote for anything that I wanted to vote for, so it doesn't really matter. And as such, I might as well just break the alliance. I can also now try and find myself someone else, or destroy or break the royal marriage. I believe I have one as well. Let's see here. Austrian military access for royal marriage, so uh, could potentially go ahead and, as I said, just break that uh, right off, more or less. Um, Holzer Kaba isn't actually something that, or hasn't actually been of any use so far, so I might as well go ahead and annex them to simply free up space. I'm actually considering releasing a lot of uh, small nations to simply have them vote for my reforms in, in my favor here. But uh, as you can see, right now, not really that many voting in uh, for me except for uh, my vassals and Hess. Weirdly enough, but uh, if I release one nation, it should be enough. As you see, we also got military, military, administrative tech 20, the absolute rulership, gives uh, me an absolute monarchy and a republican dictatorship. I believe we had a or should upgrade, I guess, to a uh, to absolute monarchy as soon as we can, due to the fact that we'll get some bonuses to discipline. And military is definitely something that is uh, that's going to be our essence here. <clears throat> so I think we'll go for. The absolute, uh, absolute monarchy as soon as we can. But for now, we'll simply uh, keep on waiting. Uh, once we get to December, I can start the annexation of Aragon. Until then, I'll just keep on boosting the uh, the relations with people around me. I'll also go ahead and simply cancel all my deals with Austria. I'm pretty sure they won't actually have any air trouble. And if they should do so, it would be kind of interesting. But I definitely do uh, don't think so. I'm pretty sure also no one else actually shares my... Well, the Burgundy share, shares my dynasty, but that's about it. Savoy too. So potentially, I could get these guys in in the unions should they get into trouble. But it definitely doesn't look like uh, look like that will be the case. So for now, really not that much I can do. I could potentially go ahead and uh, alliance myself with Burgundy. That could potentially be a move, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. And as I said, simply to free up the uh, the space here, we'll go ahead and really piss these guys off by breaking their royal ties. So there we go, everything done. And we'll see how uh, how it turns out, if I can make some of these guys actually want to vote for my... Uh, vote for my reform or not, but uh, hopefully we can uh, we can make them do that. I'll probably get another claim on Portugal, and then I guess we are basically set for, uh, for war here. 
So uh, we'll see how it goes. I guess we're basically set now for the war in Portugal. As you can see, we do have the claims on well the province that we'll be going after. So I'll just place troops in uh, in the area. Uh, we'll probably not fight LGS at all, if unless they become war leader, of course. And we'll probably also go or aim at taking uh, these two colonies once and for all. But unfortunately, that'll have to wait until next time. Uh, we now have a way at least to get the uh, Imperial Authority up rather quickly. Although it will be a tedious process, to release and an X. And I might have to wait a decade or two between each time we do that, simply because of the fact that every time we do that, or an X, a member of the Holy Roman Empire, every other state will get minus 25, I believe. So relations will take quite a lot of hits here, so I will be careful, and we'll not do it, be doing it too often. But uh, we should be able to make it uh, make it work. So I'll be done by uh, so I'll be done by the end of the game because well, I'm a little bit unsure. Also, in Bohemia will probably not join me, but I'm pretty sure the rest will. So it'll be kind of a funny looking Roman Empire, but uh, Holy Roman Empire. My apologies, but uh, it should definitely be doable. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye!